Yeggity yo, what up kid? This is Brother J Gaming, bringing you an episode of Spore. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start a new series today. These videos are going to go on a little bit longer, so do be prepared for that. Uh, when I get started playing Spore, it's very, 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 very hard for me to stop. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar, Spore is a creation of a, uh, Electronic Arts. A very long-running video game company. Um, practically anybody who knows anything about video games knows about Electronic Arts' existence. Um, they're pretty awesome, but it's all a matter of opinion once you get down to it. Uh, you either love them or you don't. But when they came out with Spore, it was supposed to be kind of a... Uh, kind of an evolution simulator, but it jumps the shark so much. So, it's nowhere near accurate at all. But that's okay. You don't have to be accurate to have fun. And that's what we're doing here today. So we're going to find ourselves a planet. Uh, as you can see, I've already got, you know, three planets here that I've developed. So, we're going to start brand new. We're going to do the cell stage, and I think we'll start over in this arm of the galaxy. This planet has red water, brown dirt. Okay, that works. Alright, so herbivore versus carnivore. Both of these have their distinct advantages um, and disadvantages. I feel like being more aggressive this time, so let's go with Carnivore. Uh, I don't have any themes. Uh, I actually haven't updated my game in like forever, so I'm I'm running old school here. So we'll go ahead and we'll start with that look. We'll do normal, and uh, this is one of those times where I actually do like the name that I start with. So, Hoppo, or Hopo. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and apologize for the quality of the video in this one. And if the sound's too loud, uh, I, will, I will turn it down here in just a moment. So here's how life theoretically began on Earth. So. Alright. We're hatching from our meteorite geode. Throughout Spore, the choices you make impact your future. As a cell, your mission is to eat, grow, and evolve. Growth is measured in your progress bar below. This is your progress bar. As you eat, you earn more DNA points. You may spend these points on new parts to evolve your cell. As you progress, you grow larger and your world expands. Alright. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll turn down the audio just a little bit. Okay. There we go. Alright, so you can steer by either clicking with a mouse or with the keyboard. I tend to do both. So, be prepared to watch this little guy just like freak out and go in all kinds of directions at once. Okay, just gonna stalk our prey here. Yeah, this very early part. Everything is pretty much faster than you. Here's where we get our first upgrade. No! But it's a spike. Spikes are useful. 
We'll go ahead and hook up with one of those here in a minute. Gonna need some DNA. And I would be eating some of these guys. But they're so fast, and those spikes can be a real pain in the butt. Or in the face, as the case may be. Alright, we're gonna try to kill a guy here. Come here, you. Sail along for a minute. Yeah, you do get a lot of good fine control by holding down the mouse button when you try to move. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get away from me. Ah, no! 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 Now there's two of them. Watch out for this guy because he's got a poison jet on his back end. Alright, dog, get away from me. Oh. Alright, we need more speed. So it's time to find a mate and do a little evolution. Okay, so first thing we want to do is, I'm one of those people that I don't want to have the mouth directly on the front. I like to have it kind of on the side, and then having some spikes to protect me is always good. Now some people are like, well the jet, the jet's faster, gives you two speed. That's true. It is faster. But for every flagella you have, you actually gain speed there too. So there we go. And adjust the spikes a bit. Because I don't really want anything gnawing on me from behind. Alright. We're gonna name it after the planet because I am just that unoriginal. Let's see, what color is this guy? It looks like he's kind of black in color. Let's give him some stripes. We'll go dark blue. Alright, that works. So now, I'm going to save and exit and move on. Alright, so we're a little faster now. A little better at grabbing food, too, because the, uh, the switch of the mouse onto the side allows you to bite in two directions. Oh, come back here. You're not getting away from me. Yar. Okay. Ah, that's what we need next. Those little wing thingies. Come here. 
You're not getting away. Gotta watch those rocks. Okay. Whoa, whoa. I'm not sure what hit me just there. sometimes. You do sometimes get killed. You get a little too bold. Let's see if we can't get a little revenge. Oh, you're gonna die either to me or the big predator. That guy was lucky. Not only did he not get eaten by the big guy, but he managed to avoid dying to me because of that poison cloud he's got. And it's like my spike isn't doing anything at all. So, let's go ahead and quit dying. Find us some easier prey. actually gotten big enough now that my uh, that my fellow cells are showing up See, I usually don't like doing carnivore, because it's so much easier to evolve as a herbivore. Because there's, like, green plants everywhere, so it's easier to evolve. Now, I did just get the proboscis, so I could, if I wanted to... Switch over to Omnivore. That would definitely accelerate matters. Really? pretty determined. Alright. So it seems like the number one problem we're having, more than anything, is that we're just not fast enough. So, we'll go ahead and 
First we'll move these spikes, because these spikes are not doing anything at all. Okay. We'll go ahead and add in our flagellum. Or should we do a cilia? Actually, yeah, we'll do uh, we'll do a cilia so that okay, there we go. Let's try that out. some progress here. Okay, this is where things are really going to start getting aggravating. Because there's these juniors, which they'll frequently come out of nowhere. And they are... They're in these little balls of, like, black tar looking stuff. Get away from me, dude! Finally grew a brain. Excellent. That means we can leave the title pole. And first, I want to get a little revenge. Well, it looks like I'm not going to get any more evolution points. So... Yeah. Alright, so we're done here. Time to evolve, and it looks like we're hardcore predators. So... Died five times! Five. All right. So now comes the most interesting part. 
Evolving to a land beast. I'll go ahead and pop some legs on here. And there we go. Alright, so we've got two flagella. We'll make a little tail out of that. Okay, don't need that many. Okay, we got two mounts. Don't really need that many. The horns are fine. Okay. I'm gonna rotate these around. These are kind of like wings in the creature stage. So go ahead. Skinny him up a little bit. Okay. And alrighty. Give him a tail. There we go, looking good so far. Shrink that tail down a little bit. Okay. Go ahead and adjust the legs. Mm. Alright. Straighten out his spine a bit. Yeah, this game's so weird because they put the spine up in the front. Rather in the back. But I guess it works. And shrink down the mouth a little bit. Angle it. Okay. Adjust those eyes. Make them look forward. There we go. All right. <laughs> okay. So he can jump. He can roar. He can sneak. He can charge. Bite. And sing. Alright, now to adjust that tail just a little bit. And there we go. Our first Hapovian. Looks kind of brutish, doesn't he? Adjust those legs just a little bit. Okay. And... Alright, I think I'm satisfied. Uh, make that tail just a little more tail-like. <laughs> okay. So, we won't do that. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. Okay. And shrink it down a little bit again. Alright. 
So, he needs a little more in the way of natural defenses. So, I've got 40 I can spend. Let's see, he has Sprint. Doesn't have Sprint. Uh, he's got a Flagella. He's got Scylla. Charm. Uh, this is our last chance to make him a uh, Omnivore. But I don't feel like doing that. Okay. And tilt his poison nodule down a little bit. There we go. Okay, still got 25. We can give him Sprint, or we can give him Charm. Or we can put on a Omnivore. Uh, being a carnivore, I think uh, I think we'll stick with the carnivore thing, and let's go ahead and we'll give him charm just in the event that I feel like being nice to somebody, because sometimes it does pay to uh, sometimes it does pay to actually be nice to other critters out here. Uh, let's get rid of those eyes and. I'm going to go ahead and do the stalk eye because I love these things. Oh man, he's creepy. I like that. Alright, here goes. Let's hope the game doesn't crash. <laughs> we got our first Hypovian. Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to call it quits on the first video here. Uh, that's just because each different stage, I kind of want to do like each stage by itself instead of mixing them all together. Just because if I did that, then I would have like an eight hour long video. And you guys have like personal lives of your own, so you can't be stuck sitting here watching an eight hour video, no matter how interesting it is. Um, so, we'll go ahead and we're going to cut it off here. Uh, leave a like and subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment if there's anything that you really want to see. Let me, let me know, and we'll try to work with that. Uh, but if you like this series, go ahead and let me know that as well. I can probably do about two or three more creatures of this, uh, depending on how it all goes. But anyway, thanks for stopping by, and we'll catch you next time. Later.